Hello learners, how are you? How are you? Here we have a lot of ideas. We have this example. Okay. Okay. I already did this, but I didn't record it, so I will repeat from the beginning. Okay. Here learners, we have. Yes, the question now is if tangent of theta equals the square root of 3, then solve for theta if theta is between 0 and 5. I already recorded this, uh, did this, but didn't record it, so I will repeat it again. Tangent of theta is the square root of 3, therefore theta is tangent minus 1 of 3. Remember that sine of pi over 3 is the square root of 3 divided by 2. These are called special angles. Okay, take it from the unit circle or from isosceles triangle, equilateral triangle, right angle triangle, and so on. And cosine of pi over 3 is half. Therefore, tangent of theta is sine of theta divided by cosine, which is the square root of 3 divided by 2, all divided by 1 over 2. These twos will be cancelled out, will be the square root of 3 divided by 1, given the square root of 3. Okay? Therefore, theta is the inverse function of tangent of the square root of 3, which is equal to pi over 3, or 60 degrees. But the interval here is from 0 to pi. I prefer to express your angle in radians. Then learners, with all that, you should go now to find the two angles. Okay? So with all that, the first angle is pi over 3. This is pi over 3. Tangent is positive in the first quadrant and positive in the third quadrant. Okay, this is the acute angle. We found it using the inverse of tangent of the square root of 3, which is pi over 3. And add pi to pi over 3 to get the next value of theta in the third quadrant where tangent is positive. Therefore, theta is pi over 3 uh, or pi over 3 plus pi minus 3 pi divided by 3. So the first angle is pi over 3, then 3 pi plus pi is 4, 4 pi divided by 3. Okay, this is for this question. Sorry, I already solved this and did it, but I forgot to record it. So I will repeat this again for you, my friends. Sorry. The next one, if tangent of theta equal 1 divided by the square root of 3, divide, uh, sorry, yes, Find the value of theta where theta is between 0 and 2 pi. It's clear, learners, the tangent of theta is 1 divided by 3. Therefore, theta is tangent minus 1 of this ratio. Okay, 1 divided by the square root of 3. Of 3. Remember that cosine of pi over 6 is the square root of 3 divided by 2. Sine pi over 6 is 1 half. Then tangent of theta is sine of cosine will be 1 divided by the square root of 3, which is the first one, tangent of Okay, now to find theta, just think of the inverse function of tangent of the square root of 3, which is pi over 6. If you want to convert this to degrees, it's easy. Pi over 6 multiply by 180 degree. Okay, 100 degree. Okay, give is what? Give is divide by pi. You see pi divided by pi is 1. Um, 180 divided by 6 gives 30 degree. The answer here should be in radians okay therefore learners we continue now i will draw this one for you i already draw this here i explained it here but i forget to record this okay sorry for that really i forgot to record this one but i'm i'm repeating no problem for your sake my daughters no problem therefore the first angle learns is what is pi over Six tangent is positive in the first quadrant. Okay, in this in the, th in the second quadrant is negative. The fourth quadrant is negative. So the third quadrant is positive. In the first and the third, to find the angle that let's say uh, measured clockwise from the positive x direction to this one, you will add pi to pi over six. So pi to pi over 6 to be 7 pi over 6 means the first angle is pi over 6 or pi over 6 plus 6 pi over 6 why we put here 6 pi over 6 because I want to appear the common denominator this is 6 
So the second fraction should be also has a denominator value as 6. So 6 over 6 is pi. Just now add the numerators. 6 pi plus pi is 7 pi. So these are the two solutions of the second question. Now move to the sec. Sec. Uh, here, sorry, I will go back to this one. Good morning, Mr. Jared. How are you? Right. So now I will come here to continue. We have, let's say, uh, the next question. I will put it here. Okay. The next question if sec of theta is equal to 2. Uh, Mr. Jared, I have problems here in my laptop. Really is dancing. The screen is dancing. But well, I don't know from where it comes. I see that. Okay. Oh, okay. But so, here the question is that learners sec of theta is 2, then find the value of theta for theta is between from uh, theta is between uh, 0 and 2 pi. Okay. First of all, learners, we have sec of theta is 2. Okay. Therefore, sec of theta, in fact, is the reciprocal function of cosine. Meaning, sec of theta multiplied by cosine of theta is 1. Or, sec of theta is 1 over cosine of theta. So, just to replace sec of theta by what learners? By 1 over cosec. By 1 over cos of theta. Which is equal to what? Equal to 2. Okay. Therefore, if you multiply 2 by cos, cos of theta, it will be 2 cos theta equal 1. Therefore, uh, re reverse this one, one, 1 over cosine, it will be cosine, and the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2. Therefore, cos of theta is half. Now to find theta, think of the inverse function of cosine, which is cos minus 1, of this ratio, 1 over 2. Okay? You already know that. Cosine minus 1 of 1 over 2 is pi over 3. So cosine is positive. Where exactly? In the first and fourth quadrant. Therefore, the first angle is pi over over 3. And the second angle is 2 pi minus the acute angle that you found that measured from the positive x direction clockwise to the terminal side of this angle. So 2 pi minus pi over 3 boy, uh, daughters, it will be 6 pi over 3 minus pi over 3 gives 5 pi over 3. Because 2 pi multiplied by 3 is 6 pi divided by 3 minus pi over 3 will be 5 pi over 3. So this is how can you show your work. Okay? I wish that the idea is clear for you at least. If you have doubt, don't forget to ask your mathematics teacher. Murat Sultan is really is always available and always here to answer your questions. Okay. Now, learners, we have cos x squared of 2 of theta equal 2. Mm -hmm. this one. So, how can we solve this question, learners? Just to make cos x squared of theta equal 2. Then you will take the square root for both sides. It will be cosec of theta is equal to plus negative the square root of 2. Or cosec of theta learn is, is it 1 over sine? Yes, of course. So think like that of the separate function of cosec, which is 1 over cosec, or 1 over sine. Okay. Then equal plus negative the square root of 2. Therefore, sine of theta, you should reverse this one. It will be plus negative. 1 over the square root of 2, okay? Then to find theta learners, just think of sine minus 1 of this ratio. 1 is positive, the next is negative. So we have two, two solutions, in fact. Two conditions, two cases. We'll, we'll discuss the first case when it is positive, and the second case when it is negative. So theta is equal to sine minus 1 of 1 over the square root of 2, or sine equal or theta equals sine minus 1 of 1 divided by the square root of 2. The ratio is negative there. Therefore, learners, to continue like that, we told that theta equals sine of sine minus 1 of 1 over the square root of 2, which is pi over 4. Sine here is positive. 
so in the first quadrant and in the second quadrant. The first quadrant, theta is clear, it's pi over 4. In the second quadrant, the, the angle should be pi minus pi over 4, okay, which is 3 pi over 4. This is for the first case when the ratio is positive. Move to the next case, theta equals sine minus 1 of negative 1 divided by the square root of 2. This is the ratio is negative, so the angle is negative is negative pi over 4, but negative pi over 4 never lies in the interval 0 to pi. So you should think for the fourth quadrant that you should add 2 pi to this negative angle, negative value. Therefore, theta is, let's say, uh, is equal to, uh, told the here sign is negative in the third quadrant and in the fourth quadrant. So the, the third quadrant will be pi plus pi over 4 gives 5 pi over 4. And the second one, it will be 7, 7 pi over 4. Okay, I'll just erase this one because it's added. Okay, so these are the two roots for, sine, for theta when the ratio is negative. And this is the two solution when the ratio is positive. Therefore, learners the possible answer, the possible uh, value of theta, possible value of theta is that of theta, of course, of theta, okay, copy, is 